Well, hello and welcome to this special edition of the Old Red Bud Radio. I've got Evan Slusher here with me, singer-songwriter from right here in Indianapolis. And like me, he's a huge Mandolin Orange fan. And we have got Mandolin Orange here on the phone. That's right, Emily Franz and Andrew Marlin have joined us. And originally they were going to talk about their November 1st appearance at Radio Radio with Kathleen Edwards. You're splitting a double bill. But... Unfortunately, because of Hurricane Sandy, that show has been postponed because Kathleen Edwards and them were coming from the East Coast and aren't going to be able to make it. But never fear, because we got an opportunity here. we got good news, man. you got a chance to see this great up-and-coming duo, Mandolin Orange, at the Do 317 Lounge. And this is going to be an all-ages show. That's right, no alcohol will be served. November 1st at 8 p.m., same night at 1043 Virginia Avenue, number 215 in Indianapolis. And you could go to mokb.do317.com for additional information or to reserve your seats for this performance. Now, we got to talk to Emily and Andrew here. Emily, first of all, tell us about that Chapel Hill, North Carolina music scene you two are coming out of. I imagine it has a little bit to do with your sound and musical development. Uh, we both live there now. Andrew is, and I'm from there. Andrew's actually from um, Warrington, North Carolina, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's kind of had all kinds of influence, mainly uh, just all the people that we get to play with down there. There's there's a lot of uh, great like bluegrass and traditional musicians, and then there's also a really great indie rock scene there. And um, but it's a very like inclusive scene, so. We've gotten to meet a lot of people and play all kinds of different music with people, and, and that's really shaped what it is we're doing as a band, I think. So when did you guys meet, and how did that come about? Yeah, almost four years ago, we met at a bluegrass jam uh, with actually the band that Jamie Gregs plays in, uh, Big Fat Gap. We kind of knew a lot of the same tunes, so him and I sang a few tunes together that night, and then uh, so him and I started singing a few tunes that night and then just decided to keep getting together and playing and uh, I was far showing her some of my stuff and liked what she did with it and we decided to play some shows just the two of us and that's how it all got started sure glad you did <laughs> you guys are one of my favorite yeah. bands I have do. to admit that how is uh you've been on the road with Kathleen Edwards for a few days now haven't you yeah we play three shows with her now how's that been so far it's, I, I don't know it's really it's really cool to hit the road with somebody that you respect and you like to listen to you know and that uh so you know, we haven't really missed any of our sets since we've been playing and kind of been breaking the ice each night, getting to know those dudes a little bit more and more. Um, it's been awesome, you know, because they, they've been doing what we, we're we doing now for a lot longer, so it's nice to hear some of the stories and their take on, on being a touring musician, you know. Uh, so uh, what is your songwriting process like? Do you uh, do you collaborate or um, is it just one of you um, that writes? Yeah, I do, I do the writing in the band. Um, it, every song's different, you know. Sometimes I'll I'll get an idea and I'll bounce some ideas off of Emily, you know, or I'll she'll hear something and uh, kind of give me some pointers along the way. But most of the time, I'll uh, I'll finish the tune and bring it to her, and then we'll uh, kind of arrange it together. Mostly at home, or do you write on the road at all while you're on tour? Or? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a I'm not like a methodical writer. I don't I don't like have a I never sit down with a plan, you know. I just I, I play right. all the time, and sometimes I'll pick up. You know, the mandolin or the guitar, and I'll play a bunch of old-time tunes, some of my favorite songs to play, and then sometimes I'll pick it up and start writing a song. You know, it's just never, mm -hmm. uh, I never sit down with an intention, really. Do you two have a new album project in the works by chance? Yeah, we've actually already tracked a new record, um, and we're it's in the process of being mixed right now. Oh, wonderful. So um, I'm not sure when that's going to be out, probably spring 2013. I saw I saw your video of uh, Birds of a Feather, man, on YouTube. I thought that was awesome. Oh yeah, <laughs> thanks, yeah. man. Thanks for covering covering us on that. That was great. Yeah, that one. Uh, I think I did last spring or something, or maybe this spring. And I think cool. I just learned it and decided I don't know play it. I love your song. We were actually we locked ourselves out of the car. Where where was it that we locked ourselves out of the car at that gas station? It was in some like passing through town. And uh, we were sitting on the side of the road waiting for our AAA to come open our doors, and uh, we're browsing YouTube, and that's when we came across that video that you did. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Have you, uh, do you ever listen to Jill Andrews at all? Yeah, or the Everybody Fields? 
Yeah, I was actually just listening to the Everybody Fields uh, right before Emily called me. <laughs> They're the guitar player for the Everybody Fields. Um, Josh Oliver is actually on tour with us right now, and um, he's a hell of a guitar player, man. I think if uh, if you like what I do on the guitar, I think Josh is like ten leagues uh, ahead of me on that. So I think you yeah. really enjoy his playing. Yeah. Well, we sure appreciate you two taking a minute to talk to us on the phone tonight, and folks. November 1st, 8 p.m., you'll have a chance to hear Mandolin Orange. This is an all-ages show. Go to mokb.do317.com to find out all about it. Hope to see you there. Hey.